Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today is another bridal subscription box and I am so, so excited. I feel like we haven't gotten a Mr. and Mrs. box in so, so long because they do only come every three months as opposed to my ring box, which I get every month. I believe that this is the fourth Mr. and Mrs. box and I'm so excited because I really, really enjoyed all the products I got in the last one. I thought it was really, really well curated, really well put together. I can't wait to see what the theme of this box is. So let's just get right into it. Also, if you are at all interested in in this eye look then I just did a quick video kind of reviewing and swatching the new Huda Beauty wild palette so go check that out it should already be up on my channel let's open the box okay so first of all we do get a card that tells us everything that's in here I'm gonna put that there it also comes with a couple of these like cards that say if you tag us on Instagram you may be featured I don't really care um, I'm just going to get right into the Peppa and let's see. So this is one of my favorite things about the, the Miss to Mrs. box is that they always give you like a couple of cards that can either be used for you or your bridal party or something. So the first one is the bachelorette party planning guide. I'm going to have to give this to Megan. So it says three months before you need to set the date, plan the budget, pick an idea, create a guest list two months before Sunday, save the date, email, confirm a venue, make reservations, order tickets, order transportation. One month before send out the official invites, make a final list of purchases. I'm going to stop reading. This could go on forever. And the next thing is a wedding day photography checklist. I really like that. I was actually just about to start kind of making the checklist that I want. So this would give me a really, really good starting point. Super excited to look at that. The next thing is a silky smooth satin kimono robe. And it does look like it's in like a nice blush peach. It's a small medium. It's very, very soft. I'm just going to see if it like has any writing or anything on the back because sometimes these do. They'll say like bride or whatever. I can't see any. I'm actually... While I love this and I think it's beautiful and I think it's a great idea that they included it in the box, I already have one. One of my best friends who actually lives out on the West Coast, right when I got engaged, she sent me like a congratulations box and it has a, uh, it had in it like a, it's actually sitting right in front of me, a um, blush pink robe that has lace on the sleeves and on the bottom and on the back of the robe it said future misses and then has my my um fiance's last name on it so it's a little bit more personalized for me now if i didn't already have that this would be great and i mean realistically because this doesn't say anything on it it's super versatile i could wear it for however long this is a really easy thing to gift away because it's not like it's not white it doesn't say bride on it i really like that it feels really good quality not for me but a really good idea next thing in here are some face masks and i think i can't tell you how happy i am because oh they are sheet masks oh that's too bad okay i don't particularly like sheet masks um they kind of make me feel a little claustrophobic and directions skin care tape yeah these are sheet masks i'm not going to use them i'm just going to give them away to somebody else who might like them but there is a manuka mask pack which has manuka honey essence and a tea tree mask pack which has tea tree essence so these would probably both be really really good they feel really juicy inside i just don't particularly like these so this seems like the box for like relaxation is that the theme of the box oh it just says stop pamper time on the front so this is kind of like your relaxing in between wedding planning maybe relaxing the night before the wedding uh the week of kind of just getting yourself all ready so a really good idea again not something for me but they're trying the next thing in here is from the white jar candle co i didn't even read this to you how dare i so the kimono says feel super comfortable in this silky smooth kimono robe after a relaxing bath. This robe is also perfect for your wedding day morning to feel glam while getting ready. Love that. And then the masks are sheet masks are all the raves these days. Enhance your relaxation with a nourishing and moisturizing face mask to rejuvenate your skin. Love that. Next we do have a candle. This is from the White Jar Candle Co. It says white tea and cedar wood 
that's really nice it's very fresh smelling really refreshing uh, I really like the container I think it's really cute it's just this little jar you could definitely use it again afterwards and it did come very very protected so there's no indentations there's no marks on the jar which is awesome so it says this 100% soy wax candle will help you stay balanced and relaxed burn time up to 35 hours so that is great this next thing in here looks like one of these like massage roller things that you can use to like um I feel like people use these to like put on moisturizers and stuff so this is what it looks like it is white and rose gold oh that could be fun uh it's a fidget toy if I want to sit here and spin so it says a jade facial roller this gentle massage the gentle massaging helps to stimulate circulation and helps relax facial muscles cooling sensation helps to soothe inflammation calm and depuff the skin Ooh, that actually does feel really good and really real. I might have to start using these. I've had them before. I might have to start using them. And does it have directions? Yeah, it does. So use on cleanse skin can be used on dry complexion or to massage in face oil, serum, or moisturizer. So I will definitely be trying that out because it does feel really, really nice and it feels really good quality. So that is super cute. Next thing in this, ooh, okay. I've always wanted to try one of these. This is this hair wrap Flush microfiber towel helps reduce split ends and maintain healthier hair use while applying makeup or at home facial one size fits all so it's very very soft it's got like this like diamond gem kind of thing for the little clip where you would hook it in it is pink which is not my favorite but who cares I'm just wearing it in the house um that's really cute so it would look like that I'm assuming once it's on really excited I've always really wanted to try these because I do wrap my hair up in a towel I like for my hair to towel dry and then air dry so that is great protect your hair from hot blow dryer air use this hair towel instead get dressed apply makeup check email all while drying your hair really like that excited to use it next thing what is this it's heavy oh this could be good okay so it comes in bubble wrap and it comes in like this jar is it glass it feels it might be glass it might be plastic but it says relaxing foot soak pink Himalayan salt Epsom salt dry lavender petals cornflower petals lime basil and mandarin dissolve half the contents in a foot tub with warm water soak your feet 15 to 20 minutes okay so that's really cute um what does it say yeah so basically exactly what I just said so this is what it looks like I actually thought it was like sprinkles but that would make no sense so that could be really good and again it's in a really cute bottle I'm kind of amped to try that and the last thing in here I can already see what it is and I don't know yet if I would use this, um, but these are some slippers. So small slippers, sorry, not small, spa slippers for the bride to be. So these are white slippers. Okay. They have um, like rubber soles. They're pretty thin and flexible and they've got like this faux fur fun and they are cushy on the inside. I don't think these are going to fit me. They're kind of eh big for me um not that that's a big deal um they're actually not super uncomfortable the little fluffs are going everywhere though um the reason I say I don't know if I'm going to use them not because I don't think they're cute or don't think that they're a great idea because I really do particularly like maybe your morning getting ready if you're at the venue or say you're in the hotel or something depends on where you're getting ready I suppose um for me like I'm getting ready at a hotel the day before or the day of my wedding the day before my wedding um i have a pair of flip-flops that megan picked me up they say bride on them so for me that's what i'm going to be wearing while i'm getting ready but again i think that this is a fantastic idea i think it really goes in theme with everything else that's in here so it says oh so comfy slippers complete your at-home spa evening with these super comfortable slippers keep calm and sparkle on sparkle there's no sparkle. There's a little diamond, but I wouldn't say sparkle. So that is everything that came in this box. So while there were a couple items in here that just for me personally, I don't have a use for such as the robe because I already have a robe, such as the slippers because I already have flip flops and I have slippers at home to get ready and such as the face masks, just because personally, I don't enjoy these kind of face masks. 
Again, I think that this box had a really, really good cohesive theme. It all makes a lot of sense. It's all extremely useful. And this box, more than any other box I found, has been less so like throwing the bride theme at you, throwing the wedding theme at you. And all of this stuff is stuff that, yes, you could use before your wedding, leading up to your wedding, the day of your wedding, but for forever and ever, as long as supplies last with this stuff, it is awesome and well worth the money in my opinion so Mr. and mrs box has definitely stepped up its game since the first two boxes this one and the last one about the sweating for the wedding i've been really excited for so i am so happy with everything in this box if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up comment down below what was your favorite item in this box uh if you have already been married what kind of items like this did you have do you wish you had let me know i love hearing from you guys and if you're not already and you want to be subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and i will catch you guys next time bye